Hi guys and welcome back to another review video. So this one I have got another ring, so that means I am going to do this hand inspired by this ring. No. Now it's not from Julia Jewelry, it's from another company who got in touch with me and they call they are called Di Dimoda Dimoda and it says for, for their company um their jewelry is a mood, a attitude, a statement. So before I get into anything else, I'm going to see what this ring is like because I'm really excited. I sort of hinted to Julia Jewelry if I could sort of get one of these rings and they never answered me. <laughs> and then when I saw this one, which I've sort of been, how gorgeous is that? Wow. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous that is. Oh my God, attention to detail or what? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Anyway. I digress. I've always loved Princess Diana's ring. Sort of, not the exact one, obviously, but was something similar. And this is the something similar. And I'm hoping it's just like the picture that's on the website. So as you can see there, Dimoda Jewelry. Okay, ready? Let's see what's in this box. Ooh. Okay, so. There's the beauty. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Oh, it's like a little folder. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a silver polishing cloth. We've got a white one. Oh, that's lovely and thick. Ooh, I like that. Best wishes to you. So that's if you wanted to send it to somebody. Okay, so we've got read before removing jewelry tag, returns and exchange policy. And then it's got all your instructions there of what to do if you want to return it. And obviously, if you've got an engraving on it, that's a no, no refundable item. Okay, so there's a step-by-step -step of how to clean it. Oh, that's interesting. Because some of my other rings could do with a good clean, to be fair. Okay, that is really helpful. Right, let's get down to the good stuff. Okay, there's nothing else in there. These are really good boxes to save as well. Okay, let's uh, bring you down and uh, see what's in this box. Now, I haven't seen what's inside it, so you are literally seeing it with me. Are we ready? Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh my life. Focus, come on. That's the, that is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's stuck to the top. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that. Will you focus, please? Oh, my life. All right, there it is. It's dropped down. Okay. So, surprisingly, it's come in two bags. I suppose you put in if you if you wanted to do it as an engagement ring, then you've got the obviously the box with the other jewelry companies. It's obviously been in there, so it was a bit of a shock when I opened it and it wasn't there. Okay. No, God, please, no, no. All right, let's try that again. So that's what. Can you see? Oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh, it's even more gorgeous in real life. No. I can't get any. Come on. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. I can't. Can you see? Look at it sparkle. Oh my goodness. It is perfect. And then you've got the little crystals around the side and around the side there. Let's look for a, whatchamacallit, a stamp which I think you can just about see there, which is S925, which is sterling silver. Oh my God, can we just, holy cow. And that, that really doesn't stand up very high either, so that's good. Holy moly, that is gorgeous. I've got a, oh yes. I'm looking at it in the mirror. <laughs> Oh, guys, it's so pretty. A 
And this, guys, right? They've got it on offer. I don't know how long the offer is. This is $49. $49.50. They've got it at like 50% off. So this is called a oval cut cocktail 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 sapphire sterling silver halo ring what is 49 dollars in uk pound oh my goodness it's 35 pound guys 35 pound for that hi guys and welcome back to another nail video so this one i'm starting a bit different because I went and picked a load of flowers. Okay, so some of the other stuff I'm using are from Phoenix Glitter, but I'm using Wow Wow's tips. So, I think I'm using some of these. I'll get my yes and no man to come up if I'm not using them. So, these are from Phoenix, and this one is Sugar Cookie. No. Pink Lace. Aura. Butter me up. Nope. And this is the newest one I've got. I'm not sure whether you've seen that uh, review video yet. This is Angel Delight and this is gorgeous. So these are the tips I'm using. These are Wow Bow's really long stiletto tips. So as usual, I'm just gonna prep my nails and then glue them on and then I'll be back. All right, so now all that's done, I'm just going to get some clear acrylic and put that on my nail beds. Just so if I wanted to change the design, I'm not filing right down to my nail bed. So again, I'm using Phoenix Glitters Liquid and their clear with their number 12 brush. All right, so I've been looking for another nail bed and this is Pixie Lace and I'm gonna, what is that on my thumb? Oh, it's from the flowers. <laughs> it looked like something else then. Anyway, <laughs> oh my life. Oh, calm down. Anyway, I'm gonna try this one because this is a new one of Phoenix Glitter. It is a little bit lighter than the one that I've used from Nao, so we will see. I want it to be like a lighter design anyway because I'm using pretty flowers. No. So I'm going to put this on all of my nail beds except my ring finger. I just don't know what I'm, how I'm going to do the nail bed yet, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so I've got some cling film and I'm just going to attempt to cut a nice bit off. You don't need loads for this. I'm sure everybody's seen how to do the icicle nail before. I've done it numerous times. Uh, I don't know how many to do it with. I'm definitely going to do it on my ring finger. I'll test it on my thumb to see. I'll do, I'll like completely do my thumb first. So I'm going to get some base coat from Nao and I'm going to, I'll do this nail first, it's easier than trying to twist around do that one. 
So I'm going to put a nice layer of the Urban Graffiti base coat underneath there. Then I'm, I'm going to put the cling film on and then push it with this thing there to get some nice creases under the nail. So that's what I'm going to do with that one and then I'm going to cure it with the cling film on. Okay, so it's just come out of the lamp. So you're gonna get some stuck on because like you've just ruffled it up, but that's no biggie. Okay, so that's what, where are you there? That's what I'm left with. So all you have to do then is just file the sides. I know some people don't like the feeling of something a bit rough under the nail, but I don't mind it because I just, sit there faking with it like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that on all my nails, why not? Why not? Alright, so now they are done, I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter here and there with the ones that I showed to you.
All right, so for now, I'm going to be done for today. I've had enough of these for today. I've changed my mind with the flowers. They just didn't go. No shit, Sherlock. So I'm going to top coat for now, then come back tomorrow. I'm using Wow Bow's uh, Diamond Shine top coat. Then I'm going to cure them for 60 seconds. And then I will see you tomorrow. Early the next morning. Okay, I've been practicing because I just didn't know what to do on these nails. So, I practiced a flower. These I did ages ago. Well, that's the flower I practiced. So then I put it on my finger. And it's like, well, it's not that bad. And then I can maybe put some crystals around the nail bed area there. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is a. Car I'm using. Uh, Rosalind stamping gel because they are a bit thicker than anything else I've got which is weird so I've got the blue and I've got the white which, the white is a lot thinner than the rest of them and I'm also using Madame Glam's ultra liner I'm using that one and I'm also using the long fine liner there which needs cleaning so I'm thinking of doing is doing these flowers on these three nails and then putting some crystals on and then, I'll, then I'll, I'll stick some bling on this nail here, I think. So let's try this then. Usually it works when, I, when I'm when i not filming and then it messes up when I am filming. So we'll see. So I'll try to talk through it. <laughs> not that I know what I'm doing. So <clears throat> I'm only going to dip it in like a little bit like that. I've got a stray hair. I don't want. So on this one I'm going to do a dot where I want sort of the middle to go which is going to be around there. And I'm just going to make like, I'm going to put it like this action. So start from there and go like this. But so, obviously you want it small at first. It's like a V, an upside down V depending which way you're looking at it. And then start in here and then go around and then just do a, some swirls like I did that swirl at the end I mean this is nowhere near a tutorial in the slightest So I'm going to go off down there, because that's where I finished on that one. Okay, well, that didn't turn out too bad. I'm going to do one more here. <laughs> you can go on for ages. Okay, well... So I'm going to cure that under this little mini LED lamp that I got from Marcart because you just push the, the top and it uh, goes on because I'm only doing one finger at a time. So before I do that I'm going to put the lid back on that because I don't want it curing and then get my little thing and it's a 60 second cure. Okay that's cured, it's got no uh, sticky layer on it by the way which is really good. So now I'm going to get the other one, the ultra liner, I'm just going to dip in a little bit don't want much on this at all and then I'm gonna go over what I've just done 
but really lightly. It's like hold your breath time. Alright, with my ring finger, I think I'm going to get some crystals and I'm just going to do like a line going down of these crystals and then put putting the smaller ones in between. Hopefully it'll look nice, if not I'll change it. Alright guys, well that is today's video. Well the last couple of days it's taken me. I haven't done the icicle nails in a while but obviously it's summer so I'm not really calling them icicle nails and then the bit of a weird rose going on there but yeah this is a hair clip by the way mum gave me and I thought it'd be nice match it with some pictures but yeah I am really really liking these nails and obviously on the end of this I've got to put a picture of the ring because that's what this video was for it, uh, it's obviously the, the flowers that go with the ring because like nothing else does but the blue of the flower really matches I think the aesthetic of the ring <laughs> I don't know what else to call it they have provided two delivery ways the standard shipping is free and express shipping needs to be paid which is $18 for shipping that's worldwide they also offer free engraving but it's only engraving for the rings, nothing else. So I will write all this in the description box as well, just in case, you know, it's not unknown that people don't understand me at times. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this nail video that eventually went with this ring, because obviously I did this first. Really hope you enjoyed everything. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.